Craft Clutch and today is Friday. That means it is another Coaster Friday. Today I thought we would try something fun and do a unicorn coaster and I'm going to do it in such a way that it can be used as a coaster or something else. For this project I have my coaster mold. I'll have a link to it down in the description below and I also found this on clearance and it is a unicorn horn mold. And there's different kind of molds that you can find online too if you can't find this one. But I happen to find it on clearance and I thought I would give it a try. And I happen to have this flower mold left over too. Now I'm going to be making my parts out of resin. However, you can always make the horn out of polymer clay instead and just hand mold that. I just thought it would be fun to try it with resin and I'm going to do the resin that cures white. You can certainly use regular resin and add a white pigment to it so that you have a white background for your unicorn. So for the horn I'm just taking my pigment powder and a brush and brushing it into the horn. Now I'm not going to use this entire horn because I don't need that big of a horn for what I'm doing. For this one I started with pink all the way at the bottom and now I'm taking a little bit of purple and doing that almost as a next layer. Not knowing how full I'm going to make these horns, um, we'll just see how that works out. Now I'm using the pigment powders, but you can also use powdered makeup like this eyeshadow. I'm going to toss some of that into, into this one and we'll just see how, how it all comes together. I'm going to shake it up in there. Should be a fun experiment. I'll knock any excess out. Okay, I'm going to put that aside. And then I have this mold with the flowers. I'm going to do the same thing. Just going to take some pigment powder. And then we have our mold. Now I'm going to mix some resin. I have about two ounces of resin and I'm pouring one ounce into each coaster cavity here. We're going to let that cure. I'm going to do two more ounces and I'm going to do that for the unicorn horns and the flowers. Now I'm going to take more resin and I'm going to pour it down into here. And then any excess I have I'm going to put into the flower mold. And now for the unicorn horn, what I'm actually going to do is put something underneath the edge just so it is not standing fully straight. I want a little bit of angle on the bottom. So we're going to go like that and we are going to let this cure. So we have the basic unicorn base and we're going to pop that out. It's still kind of soft, but don't worry about it. We're going to just put it on a flat surface. And as it continues to cure, it will cure flat. So it's not pure, pure white, and that's fine with me. I don't care. I'm going to pull the flowers out now, and look how pretty they are. So I think we might be okay to pull the horns out. It might not be the easiest to unmold because it is such a deep mold. So we're going to kind of turn it inside out. Okay, so I have these in the freezer, and... This is how it came out. It looks pretty darn good, but it still does take some work to get it out of the mold. I had it in there for about, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. And you really have to just turn the mold inside out. There's another mold that I saw online that might work a little bit better, so I will have that down in the description below. But this is the one with the multiple colors, and I think it turned out really super cool. All right, here we go. Here's the pink one. I think the horns actually turn out better than I expected. So they're on a little bit of an angle, so they're not standing completely straight. They're almost straight, but not completely. I'm going to use some fast drying super glue. I'm going to put a little bit on here. And I want to go all the way up to the edge. And this is basically just to hold it in place. The horns are attached and now I get to put on the face and you can paint on a face or in my case I use my Cricut to cut out the face. So here's the face. I cut out the vinyl and it's a glitter vinyl. So I did a little trial run with some cardstock just to kind of see where I wanted everything placed and how I wanted it to come together, figuring that would be the safer way to do it. So I'm going to put these on individually. 
I'll attach the eyes. And then I'll trim the nose and the mouth. This was actually a llama face. It was part of the Cricut design space and I decided to alter it a little bit. I'm gonna go with the mouth first, then on the bottom, and then I'll add the little nose holes. And there they are so far. Now that all that's taken care of, I have mixed two more ounces of the resin. And this is just clear resin. I'm gonna pour some on. And this is simply to seal the vinyl. I'm gonna spread it out. You just need a thin layer. But the nice thing about doing this also is it gives a little extra strength to the horn because now the horn is gonna be embedded in resin also. Once you have all the resin on there, take your lighter, pop the bubbles. If you need to come back and do that again, go ahead and do it again. Otherwise, let it sit for a minimum of 12 hours before you handle them. So these have cured and the horns are on there nice and secure because now they're embedded into the resin. Now we get to do some more decorating and I have some craft foam and I'm just going to cut little ears out of the craft foam. Just like that and I'm going to give it a little curve on the bottom. Like that. And I'm going to glue them on. I'm going to put just a dab of hot glue right at the bottom. Just a little bit. Slide it right on there. I have this bright pink paint and I'm going to just put a little bit right on the inside of the ears. So I painted them and now I'm going to take some glue, some regular clear drying glue, and I'm going to put it on a little bit more thickly right along the edge of the ears just because I want it to give it that extra strength because sometimes hot glue isn't going to really do the job long term. So if I put a little extra glue on here, it'll be fine. And don't worry if it's not perfect because we're going to cover a lot of it up. And it dries clear. All right, now I'm going to take a paintbrush and also take some glue and just go on to the inner part where I painted it pink. And I'll do that on both ears. And then I'm going to take some fine pink glitter Sprinkle it on there. Unicorns are magical and they need a little glitter. Then you can tap off any excess. I have a white feather boa. I could have gone with a different color. I just happened to go with the white. I'm gonna cut a piece of boa and I'm gonna take my hot glue, run it above the ears. Take my piece of boa, curl it around down there. And this is pretty fluffy. So now you want to trim the excess so you can see the ears. And then I have these little flowers that I made out of the resin. And all I did was I brushed on the pigment powder and put some of the resin in there. And it picked it right up just like we did with the unicorn horn. And I'm going to choose a couple of colors. And I'm going to add those right on there. And you don't have to do the flowers. You can certainly do um, any kind of a gem or anything too. That would go very well with a unicorn. Here are the unicorn coasters all finished. And obviously this is not going to be the most practical coaster because you've got your mane here. So you could paint something if you wanted something different. But I thought this was really cute. And it's perfect for a bottle of water. Fits on there plenty fine. But the nice thing about this also is it has a dual purpose. You can also use it as a ring holder. So even if you don't want to use it as a coaster, it still is functional and cute to have around. So it's perfect for a little girl to hold her jewelry or you know it's good to put juice cups on if you want to start training them early and it doesn't have to be just for little girls. So be sure to let me know what you think of the coaster ring holders down in the comments below because I'd love to know what you think. Hope you guys like the unicorn coasters. They are three dimensional. They have a dual purpose and they're just really fun. So be sure to let me know what you think of them down in the comments below. I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye guys.